previously, we actually finished the sliding door and managed to stain all of our slats ready for installation. Today, our plan is to varnish all the prepared slats, complete the rear doors and make a start on installing some of the slats to the ceiling. Please pray for our necks. Today is going to hurt, I think. Morning, welcome back. And today we're doing back doors. Apple. No, on serious note, we need to finish these bloody back doors. Yeah. And um, then the van's pretty much carpeted, plyboarded, and we can jump on creating the furniture. You missed one part. We got to varnish oh, the yeah. slats and get them up on the ceiling as well. Oh, yeah. And maybe we can put the slats on today if it's going to drive. In time. It is colder today, so yeah, I don't gets... know, there's a bit of damp in the air. It's a bit chilly again today. I think yeah. we should get cracking and yeah. see how much we can get done today. Ready? Steady. Go. The first job today is to apply some varnish to our slab. We think they needed just a little sparkle. As you can see, at the moment it has like really matte finish and we kind of want a bit of glossiness. Bit of gloss. Yeah. Just like that, it's done. First coat. Are we putting the second one? Let's leave this to dry and let's jump on these two. Okay. And whilst they dry, it was time to prep the rear doors ready to be carpeted. So, we got these pieces that, is it a top? That can't be good. Oh. No, these are the bottom pieces, aren't they? It's not those. So what do you do then? I can't remember what goes where. Um, let me get my phone because that might give away what the back doors look like. Right, after some investigation. They go on top of each yeah. other. It used to be this underneath, this on top, which would make sense why they've all got the same amount of screw holes. And then both are on here, just at the bottom for some reason. Yeah, and the top and middle wasn't covered at all. Now we need to cut a shape of the top bit, fix the bottom bit and then carpet it. First layer of varnish dry, we went in for a second coat. One coat may have been enough, but we wanted just a little extra shine. Whilst the second coat of varnish dries, it was operation carpet the rear doors. So we got some more carpet. We're going to carpet it and then we're going to put a plywood piece here. Let's jump to the time lapse. I actually really enjoy carpeting and it was easy for us to get into a bit of a rhythm. And voila! Easy as that. Except I lie because we always end up inhaling the glue. Who needs lunch anyway? Jokes aside, be careful of this stuff. It is horrible. If you have masks, it may be better to wear them. We found out the hard way. Carpeting's done, next job. Cut the squares out of plyboard to put on the doors. I'm not, uh, you, you are responsible for this now. No. No, after that, the dry. No. Exactly, after that drama I'm not... of cutting the top ones, you're just going to get on with it. I'm not going to come up with any suggestions because I was asked to and then I was told that they were stupid. Okay, that, let's hope it's going to be simple. Let's cut it. Okay, so at this point we had some audio issues. I think our mics ran out of battery and blissfully unaware, we kept waffling. So, Aramis was just explaining that our original plywood plan for the rear doors was a bit of a fail. We couldn't screw the ply into the door as it's just Stellatex beneath. Aramis had thought about gluing the ply directly to the carpet, but I wasn't keen on this idea. After all, we may end up fitting windows in the future, so less is more, for now. Right, now was the time to start fixing some of our slats to the ceiling. Aramis felt pretty stressed about this part and I was about to do a shoulder workout. Working on the ceiling when you're this short is not ideal. I'm beginning to think we went too dark. I just think we don't have any windows or anything, so we've made this, it almost looks a bit dark, doesn't it? The ceiling, back, the back, the d black ceiling in comparison to the dark wood, I thought it was very dark. 
We quickly got into a measure, cut and fit routine. It looks like we've done this before. Might I add, we haven't, but as long as we look like we know what we're doing, we can have you all fooled, right? More slats up and panic over. It's not as ugly as I thought it would be. I think it just took a few more slats to see what it would look like when it's done. Now was the time to figure out the light. The thing is, we only need to feed it wide so that we can drill the holes, feed that thing bang on in the middle of that on the slat, and we don't need to cut the slat at all, just so patch the slat. Yeah. We really wanted all six lights up and fitted by the end of the day to make our next day down here a little bit easier. I can't lie, I hated this part. Electricals really isn't my thing, but Aramis powered through with a bit of my assistant. After what felt like forever, all six lights were in. Now time to test if they work. So, we've got it. How many slats? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten slats. Ooh. We got like nine more left. No, we had 18, didn't we? Yeah, so there's a few more over there. So we got eight more left. So that means it's plenty and enough to finish it. And we fitted some spotlights. So now it's going to be a first time we test them. Let's see if they work. Right, you give me a count. Okay, three, two, one. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Sick. There. We got light. They look good. As soon as that first middle one went up, I thought, oh no, we've made a mistake. It's too dark. But actually, once they're all on, I think that's going to look really, really good. Yeah. It's half past four. Jesus Christ, yeah. So, so I would say we need to fit a couple more and then pack no, up and go. No, I would say it's time to go home. Well, okay. I might just try to fit that fan thing because that's just a couple of wires and four screws. And, and that's probably going to be it for today. I think that's going to be a last video for a couple of weeks because we're going to be off next weekend. But there will gonna... be a gap because it's your girl's birthday. <laughs> yeah, we're going away. And I'm not spending it on the van. Sorry, Flossie, but that's not happening. Let's quickly fit that van, tidy up and be done. Yeah, before it gets dark, it'll be nice. So that's it for this weekend. We are so happy with how the van is coming along and we absolutely love how the slats are starting to look. It was all worth the hassle of making them ourselves. All in all, a great day's work. We won't see you next week as we're away celebrating my birthday, but we are so excited to get back down soon to get the ceiling finished and finally start building some furniture. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. Let us know in the comments what you think so far. We'd love to hear your feedback. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for all your van build needs. See you soon. Bye.